first half. So, Shannon, give Brady a letter grade for yesterday. Uh, he had a tremendous stat line, uh, 430-something yards. That's the first time he's had, what, 405 touchdowns, Skip, no interceptions, I think, in his career. I think that's the first time in his yep. career. And we know what his career has been, all-time lead touchdown passes, passing yards. We, we, we know all the numbers. But, Skip, he got a little extra. Mm. You saw what he did in the fourth quarter now. He stat padded. You saw that now. I you, saw it. You, okay. As long as you know you saw it. It's he, called going for the jugular. It's called going for the MVP. <laughs> That's what it's called. Going for an extra 106 yards and two touchdowns when they were already up. Uh, Skip, look. I don't know what's going to happen come trade deadline. I think it's November 2nd. But if I'm the Miami Dolphins, I'm looking to move Byron Jones and Xavier Howard. Are you really? That's unacceptable. Wow. Skip, I, Xavier Howard had 10 picks last year. And he couldn't cover me right now. He's not even trying. He's uh, skipped this that effort what Byron Jones was doing yesterday. The way Mike and I'm, Mike Evans is a legit receiver, but you can't have that. Xavier Howard, the way he was doing on Antonio Brown, we can't have that. You sure that the Bucks just weren't better? Skip, they can be Bucks as an overall team yep. can be better. Xavier Howard was in the running for defensive player of the year. <laughs> he was. And he looks like the worst corner in football. Byron Jones, this is one of the reasons why the Cowboys did nah, y'all good. Y'all go ahead and take it up. Because it's, it's, it's these kinds of performances, Skip. I, Tampa is a better overall team. But I expect my best players to look. You go to any bad team. And you can find their best players, even in a bad game, even in a tough loss, you will find... That's their best player on offense. That's their best player on defense. Xavier Howard and Brian jo Byron Jones should be their best players on defense. Mm -hmm. And that yesterday effort was bad. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look good. Because you have to understand, Skip, that you put that on tape. Is that what you want disseminated? Mm -hmm. when, te when, teams, when, when teams break down and look at the Dolphins' defense, they're like, man, Byron Jones, man, he quit. Xavier Howard, man, he laid it down. Skip, the Dolphins have lost four straight. Pay... I don't know how the Patriots lost to him. If they don't fumble on the one-yard line, we already know that has happened. So what are you doing, giving Brady an F? I gave him a C+. Plus. C I gave him a C+. Plus. I gave him a C+, plus, Skip, because he padded his stats. You know he padded his stats. They're trying to give him the MVP, and you know what? I hate Who's saying Who's trying to give him the MVP? The team. Oh, the team. Okay. The team. The team. No, the uh, league's not trying to give him the lead. No, okay. the league don't care. The team. Mm. Um, I like. First of all, I like it. I love playing for situations like this because I get my stats up too. Because mm -hmm. as long as long as Brady's in the game, that means I'm gonna be in the game, and there's a chance for me to catch passes, catch a touchdown. So hey, I hey, can Mike Evans loved it in the fourth quarter because he got two big touchdowns. Hey, hey, exactly. Yep. You got to feed him, Skip, because you know it been getting AB, AB getting that money. He like hold on, that's that, Tommy. I, I, I know it. that's your boy, but hey, that is correct. So for me, I gave him a C plus, but to Skip the Dolphins. Now you see why the owner wants to make that move for that guy in Houston. Houston stands trying to stand firm, give me three first rounders. Yep. But I'm not so sure. I thought you were a Tua guy. Skip, Tua can't stay healthy, Skip. Okay, I, I, got it. Thank you. Xavier Howard last year was first team all pro. Yeah, first he had team 10 all picks. Pro. First team all pro. Everybody's raving about it. He was the number one rated corner by Pro Football yes. Focus last year. Was he rated now? <laughs> I don't know. Byron Jones. Has oh. made a Pro Bowl before. Yes. And he is still, still to this moment, the highest paid cornerback in pro football. That's How? what you're up against. Why? So you can't tell me there wasn't some degree of difficulty at the, the opening kickoff. You know, you're up against, I don't know, I, I'd say going into the game, a lot of people around the league yes. would say they would be in the top five of cornerback duos. Yes, but Skip, that's right? what I'm saying. That's where pride takes over. Even though I'm on a bad team, I'm going to show, okay, y'all might win, but I'm going to make it tough on you. Okay. I want you to know that going into yesterday, the Miami Dolphins had gone 26 games straight with a takeaway. That is the NFL record streak for takeaways. Right. 26 straight games. Well. Yesterday, <clears throat> they got none. So Brady and company broke the 26 game streak. So you got to give him some credit for that yes. because the Dolphins do take the ball away and they are proud. They play with a contagious pride. We take the ball away. Mm -hmm. But once again, what did Pro Football Focus say last week? We give Brady sort of the quarter pole. I know it's 17 games. But right. We give him our number one grade at the quarter pole because he has zero turnover-worthy plays. And I did not see one yesterday. Maybe they'll grade one somewhere, but I didn't see a turnover-worthy play yesterday. I, you saw a bunch of guys wide open. Okay. You saw no tight window throws yesterday, Skip. Okay. Now, let's just look quickly at the five touchdown passes if we could. 
in order. We go to, I thought Gio, you thought he got hurt in that, the, the last play of that game, but here's Gio. He just hits him right over the middle, and he goes in the end zone again, and Tom starting to love him like James White. <laughs> There was a great throw to A.B. who streaks away, 62 yards for That's a touchdown. That's A.B. Howard right there. Yep. And then we got A.B. for a little four-yarder. There's nobody better than this. That, That's A.B. Howard right yeah, there. That is correct. And then here's the first one. This, this is Byron Jones. Bombs away on Mike that's, Evans. That's Byron I, Jones. I got it. And then we got one more just for good measure to Mike Evans. And they don't look at, even, look at, they look don't look even that try that to tackle him. They don't try to look tackle him. Look at that. Come on, Skip. Okay. I'm going to remind you that with 4-11 left in the second quarter, Tom hit his hand on, I guess it was a helmet, mm -hmm. and, and hurt his thumb, and he was shaking his thumb, and it was right. taped. It was wrapped up after the game last night. Here it is. He just banged it on a throw to Cam Brait and hit it right on the helmet. And it was his thumb, and he shook it. I'm sure it swelled up oh, last yeah. night. And the point was he went to the media session with it taped, and he said, you know, back in my days in New England, there's no way I would ever come here with this tape because we would have kept it under wraps. Right. But he said, in my older age, I, I don't care anymore. I'll just come with it wrapped up. Right. So he did, and yet he all he did was throw three more touchdown mm -hmm. passes after that. So I'm not going to get real upset about it. Man, Skip, look here. The way the dog was playing defense, he could have had his thumb in a pie. <laughs> like, little, little, like little boy Blue. Okay. Little Jack Horner. Whoever sat in the corner with his thumb in the pie, Tom Brady could have did that and threw a touch. Skip, you saw those plays. You saw the deep. Byron Jones and, and Xavier Howard will give it up. Skip, you saw that. You saw that on tape. Okay, I, I hear you, but I also say that yesterday Brady is putting on a masterpiece of a show because this one throw to A.B., and I want to see it one more time, the one that broke for 62 Oh, the shallow cross, yeah. Okay, th th this is, as you say, this is a Rembrandt, Picasso, this is a Van Gogh because he's got a blitzer right in his face, and he did get hit six times yesterday and sacked twice. The blitzer comes right in his face, and he gets hit. It, yeah. it was a fall away mm -hmm. and a breakaway, but that is all time. That, that is goatish to me, because Man, that's a hard throw under that kind of pressure to hit him right on the button where he could turn it up field. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get a lot better than that. That's a, that's a heck of a throw. That was a great route, stem him, shallow cross, just keep running away. I mean, Xavier, how, Skip, come Okay, on. I got it. But last night on NBC, Drew Brees said, and I quote, Tom Brady is the best deep thrower in the National Football League. You often say he dinks and dunks too much, mm -hmm. and some yesterday he did dink and dunk. But when it's time to cut it loose, as we saw on the two throws, right. especially the first throw to Mike, Mike Evans, the fourth yeah. touchdown, mm -hmm. it's just home run sweet. It, it's on the money where his arm strength – is, is it, it, to me, that's 44 going on 24. Right. But when you see teams play like this, general managers and owners, this is, an opportunity, this is when they look to replace the coach. Because it looked like those guys quit, Skip. It looked like that defense gave it up. Now, the offense is not that talented Another to begin Belichick with. Another Belichick disciple, right? This is bad. That's bad football. That's bad what they put on tape yesterday. Okay. Well, he had them on the rise, right? Yeah. Brian Flores has had them going in the right direction, I thought, until yesterday. But don't underestimate the firepower that the Bucks hit you with from all angles because Leonard Fournette is finally looking like what I thought he was at LSU when I thought he was going to win the Heisman right. Trophy his junior year right. at LSU. Well, he's starting to look like that guy. They right? ran the ball 25 times, 121 yards. He's, run, he's running well. He's getting the lion's share of the carries now because yep. I'm not so sure how much they trust Rojo because they put him in the game and somehow the ball ends up on the turf. Seems well, like every time he's in the game. Well, the other thing, Tom just loves to throw it to play off Lenny, right? right? Because he trusts him to catch it and be where he's supposed to be right. on the little option routes, the yep. little underneath the dinks mm -hmm. and the dunks, as you say. Right. So would you believe that Tom Brady at 44 now has the two highest passing totals in regulation for the whole season? He's got a 432, which mm -hmm. was at the Rams, in a losing effort. Right. But then yesterday was 411, so those are 1-2 in the pecking order of biggest passing yardage in regulation. I know Derek Carr had one in o overtime. with the overtime. Right, but it's still, I think he had like four or three, so Tom still has the most passing yards. Um, um, no, yeah, four or three. I, Brady I think had he the, had a little more than 432. I think he's got he? the most with overtime, okay. including overtime. They, they played they play well, Skip. Um, I, gave, I gave Tom a C+. Um, like I said, 
He did this if he had done this against New – now, he puts a performance like this against New England's defense. Yeah. Or, you know, hey, they don't turn it. This maybe had to have been the performance he would have had had they not had those four turnovers against Dallas. And now, Skip, we got to hold it. He does something like this against the Cowboys, and we know what the Cowboys are starting to become defensively. Now you got – now I got to sit back like, well, hold on, wait a minute. Mm. This joker doing this at 44 against a team like that? Shannon. I can't give him anything less than an A for yesterday. I don't know what he did wrong. And they came in with some credibility, and he destroyed they all They ain't got credibility. no credibility. They a, won one game. A, he is, I think, pulling away with the MVP that I predicted he was going nah, to win. No, I don't think he's pulling away with his Skip. I mean, a game-winning drive against Dallas, and then five touchdowns against Atlanta, and 432 at the Rams. Really? And yeah. then he outplayed, I don't care what you say, he outplayed Mac Jones no, he and did everything Mac. he needed to do late. He got hot late at New England in his emotional roller coaster game. He won it. As we so we're going to talk about this a little later also. We see a lot of times quarterbacks can put the team in position, but it comes down to the leg of the kicker. We saw that fiasco up in, it in was a Fiasco. <laughs> yep. Okay. In the end, all I know is he's leading the league with 15 touchdown passes, leading the league in yards passing. Nah, he ain't got no he leading the league. My homeboy got 17 tubs. No? I thought it was 15. What's up? No, my homeboy oh, got oh, 16. Oh, yeah. You know what? I didn't add on what he had last night. Last night, Because yeah. he was so bad, I forgot he uh, did There you go. Yeah, that was well, unnecessary. Two, that, that. two picks and a lost fumble, really? Yeah, he was You're bad right. He, he did. He, 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 was he, was bad last, he was bad last night. He was bad, he was but bad he did tack on a couple more touchdowns. Yeah. So Brady would be second, second. in touchdowns, mm -hmm. first in yards mm -hmm. passing.